the google doc right here it literally just says y2k in the bush administration and that's it all in the same line yeah, yeah we could go ahead and not talk like about the bush administration we, uh... if that's okay with you guys but I, want to talk about the I do have something slightly political to talk about. It's kind of a serious conversation. Oh, um, here we go. Let's get Dr. Canceled. Seuss got canceled. <laughs> have, you, have you guys kept yeah. tabs on that? I heard something about it. I got like a notification from Twitter saying like, what? Uh, he got like banned from like Time Warner or something like that. Some, some like... Time one. Like you mean the New York Times service or something like that? They're canceling a dead dude. Wait a second. I know puns like kind of fell out of fashion, but that's a bit much. I think it's because some of his stories are racist, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I haven't was... read Doctor Seuss in a hot minute, but I don't remember anything racist. But apparently, Listen. there's like this one book that's like go all around the world and like it like just really generalized a lot of people and populations and stuff. I just thought it was weird because I was like. Seems like the most innocent person that you could possibly think of in your head. The guy who made Cat yeah. in the Hat. Like, oh, I didn't get anything racist. Ham. Yeah, I didn't get anything racist <laughs> Actually, out of the Cat wait. in the Hat or Green Eggs and Ham or Hop on Pop, other than, like, maybe don't hop on Pop because <laughs> you could step on an organ. I don't know. Yeah, regardless. I, feel like, I feel like that should be banned. I feel like so, like, I, I don't know, man. I, are people really upset about, like, a Dr. Seuss book? I mean, like, far be it from me to judge. I just, like... This is my uninformed opinion. Listen, you know? all right, here's my take on it. Are you guys it. I upset? I don't I think it's kind of useless to go around canceling dead dudes, but if also at the same time, if you look at his political cartoons during <laughs> World War II, you are going to find some racist trash. So he actually is racist. Really? Oh, he's truly like bro, but he's like I don't want to like be a, I want to be an apologist for this kind of thing, you know, but uh, everybody in the 40s was racist. It turns out who knew? Who would have thought <laughs> that racist. as we get <laughs> and, older, and, as a society grows, we get less stupid? Turns yeah. out, turns out, depictions of people of color in, in political cartoons during World War II were a little racy. Who, I, yeah, I figured it out. Racy. We all saw that one cartoon. Yeah. yeah. If you want to throw it up on the screen, I don't want this to get pulled please, off. Please, of please, but no, it's actually please. like it's no. actually like really no. Offensive. I'm okay. I watched that once because Shane Dawson did a video on it. Apparently, also got canceled. Um, <laughs> so I'm good. I'm I'm like I, I just feel like all my entertainment slowly but surely is just getting fucking ripped out from underneath me. Uh, if Doctor Seuss is racist, then he could fuck off. I don't care. Listen, listen. If you, it's if just kind of funny. No, there's a really old guy. You've probably got some racist ideas somewhere. Especially by 2021 standards, like the the progress of human like social norms has changed so much in the last 10 years that really anything. If you look at a stand up special from 2008, you're gonna be like, that's homophobic, and it's yeah, but it was commonplace True. back then. It's uh, so like, different. You have to look at things through like the lens of the time it was made. So and, what do we like, do? What the social norms were back then to actually understand that. But yeah. then the thing is also is that those shouldn't have been the social norms back then. Yeah, true. But, you know, should have been a social norm in the 1600s to burn witches? Like, like, <laughs> yeah. are, are we going to cancel them too? Are we going to... The There's probably a committee of people dedicated to that. should cancel the entire town of Salem and rename it something else. That's a cool name, though. How do you beat that? Salem. I know. How how do you, whoever thought of that was so fucking cool. Just Salem? change the M to an N so it sounds the same, but it's different. <laughs> Saline. Saline spray. <laughs> yeah, like the car make. Mm. So, like, what do we do though, about fucking, track. like, so what, every time something like this comes up, are they just like, are we going to forget about everything good about them? Like, I'm not, like, defending Dr. Seuss here, because if he's a racist, then I don't even care. Like, I don't yeah. care about him at all, even regardless of that. But, like, what do we do if, like, I don't know. Well, what's a classic from like our child though? What if SpongeBob? What if the creators of SpongeBob were racist? What if they looked into an episode of SpongeBob that could be like construed as racist? You know, Wait, can I mean SpongeBob I, is totally racist. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a lot of it is like maybe like the creator or the author is racist, but I think everybody can agree that like green eggs and ham is good content. You know? Yes, that's OC. I would show my like, kids green eggs and it's, it's beneficial. You learn rhymes as a kid, you know? So maybe and we just so take the racist look, ones away. 
Yeah, you, you have to kind of look at it like a little bit separate. I think that's what they're doing. I think a lot of libraries are just taking those books and moving them to like the offensive section. I'm okay yeah, with that. There, there I mean, should I don't... be an offensive sh section of libraries. You've got to be in there all the yeah, time. Yeah, you'd be posted off there. <laughs> I'd be showing up at a Borders bookstore. Oh, I miss Borders. I'm sorry, boarded. Boarded up bookstore. Wait, yeah, literally. <laughs> That's what they called it, Borders, bro. They actually are uh, seen in the future with that one. Nah, but I, I don't think that we should be erasing offensive <clears throat> stuff from history. Uh, like, okay, yeah, if you don't, if you don't, like, if you think that that's racist, yeah, which, oh, you know what, I've seen, like, the, the depictions and stuff, and yeah, they're offensive, especially by 2021 standards. Uh, but if you don't want to support that, just don't buy it. Like, you should support things with your wallet and your mind and your time. Uh, like this I don't podcast. Think that we should erase Dr. Seuss from history because they were he was a part of all of our childhoods and they all taught he taught us a lot of words, okay? But by that same standard, what do we do with Bill Cosby? Well, Bill Co what Cuz yeah, I would listen. say that everybody just pretty much erased Bill Cosby's existence. I'm sorry, but I don't think uh, we should erase probably... the existence, but yeah, I think can't... that we should. You you got to keep it around as a learning experience, you know. So funny yeah, guy that the Cosby was show does have a lot of family values in it that we need to we need to keep in our hearts. That's that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant like learn from the other person's mistakes, like that. So like if you're funny and you have power, don't don't put the pudding pop in the. In the I'm gonna stop <laughs> with that one. Um, yeah, we're, we're this is the most dated thing. We're talking about cancel culture in 2021, as if this is a new concept. Well, I mean, like if, if you want like a modern like if you want a modern the, take, uh, like what happened with Chris D'Elia. I mean, like, I don't want to spend yeah, the entire time yeah, talking about, about cancel culture, but uh, Chris D'Elia is, like, stacking, you know, cancellation on top of cancellation. He got canceled a year ago, I think, for, uh, for like, he would, like, have a show in, like, a town, and then, like, he would get, like, 50, 60 DMs from, like, girls who want to hook up with him. So then he would, and then it became, like, this big thing about, like, oh, you know, he's just using his power to, like, hook up with his fans, blah, 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 blah. So then he took, and that's not all the information, but that's like, that's like the basis of it. So then he took like a year off everything he does, you know, a year off stand up, a year off his podcast. I think he had a podcast or a show or something. Uh, you know, he was off all of the movies that he was going to be in, all the TV shows. Then he comes back a year later, makes a big apology video. It was like last week. It was like, it was a decent apology um, where he was just saying that he's like, oh yeah, I'm a sex addict, you know, this, that, the other nothing i did was legal but i'm sorry blah 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 and then like a few days later i go on twitter and it's like apparently he's getting there's some accusations of like underage like like some sort of like child porn or something like that but i don't know i don't know what the basis of he said it wasn't true but what do we do with chris D'Elia where it's like it's so much he says you know she said that type thing like what do we do with that i don't know i don't give, really give a shit about chris D'Elia that much so i got no opinion <laughs> i on think it. he's pretty funny but he's a I, funny I, guy you know what it, the image of getting a divorce to harrison ford and then having oh a my divorce fuck. in the floorboards that is pretty crazy <laughs> you know there was a time where i did use too many napkins oh and i did fuck. in fact pronounce babkins